Hello, hello everyone. We will get started here at 7.30. Joined with Alex. Alex, how you doing? Hey, I'm here. Uh, just letting everyone know we, we're going to get started here in a second. Okay. I just need to pin this comment here, which doesn't want to seem to pin. Let me see. Hmm. Did you hold it down? I think you got to hold it down. Yep, I'm holding it. Okay. Yeah. I'm pressing it. You are. It's my fat fingers on. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. I think. Got I think. It. It's <laughs> yep. Awesome. Just in the nick of time, we got. One more minute before we start, everyone. Perfect. Okay. I got my light and everything right. <laughs> That's right. You got to get them angles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you taught me that. You taught me that. Cheers. Yep. <laughs> okay, sis, sis, we're all cheers. cheers. <laughs> everyone else, cheers. <laughs> Join in. BYOB. <laughs> BYOG, bring your own glass. That's right. <laughs> what, you, what are you sipping on? Um, something I got from Jamaica. It is Royal Jamaican Rum. Amazing. Very good. I have some uh, pink Moscato uh, made by Yellowtail. Okay. Look, um, we're, we're, we're plugging next time. Next time they're going to sponsor. I'm going to go all the way to Jamaica and say, okay. look. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, first of all, I want to welcome uh, everyone to DC Now uh, Small Business Takeover with myself, Malik Pollard of Mad Flavor TV, and the beautiful, talented Alexandra Tolbert. Yes, uh, also known as ASQ Alex as Alex. That's right. That's right. And um, Alex, what is our topic for today? What, what will we be discussing? So we are discussing how to break into film and media. Um, the industry is a beast. So I know a lot of people would love to figure it out from some people that wanted to share that. You know, a lot of people trying to hold back information. We're going to give you all the real tonight. That's right. That's right. So we are providing you guys with four tips to break into the television industry. Yes. And so um, I, I'll first, before we jump into the tips, just to give you a little bit about myself. Um, and why this is probably playing in the background right here. Uh, my name is Malik Pollard. I am the executive producer of Mad Flavor Television Show. Uh, also, I own my own production company, which is Motion Pixels Media. And we're a full production company that uh, produces television, film, uh, events, um, and, and a lot of other things. So we, you know, we... Uh, do everything from uh, shooting to, uh, well, actually, just to start from the beginning, uh, we have a script uh, writing team where we write scripts, uh, treatments, uh, and then also uh, on the production side, we shoot uh, and produce and uh, edit, and we do the full life cycle. And so um, uh, with that, Alex uh, is one of the uh, hosts of Mad Flavor Television Show, and she's probably in this promo somewhere. Um, so, and I'll, Alex, I'll let you talk a little bit about your journey and, and who you are. Yeah, so um, again, I'm ASQ Alex, as Alex, and my journey started with my background in arts and dance. Um, I've been here my entire life. I was a cheerleader, dancer, went on to cheer for the Washington Redskins cheerleading team, but that was for a brief moment because now they're the Washington, uh, the Washington football team, but that was in 2013, and I thought I was going to end up being a background dancer, like, I, that's what I wanted to do, but somehow I stumbled across wanting to work in media and t TV and film, and uh, met Malik, um, he took me, you know, right under his wing, got me right in there, started me on my first interview with 
uh, Q Parker from 112, and I haven't slowed down since. So here I am. That's my little journey. So if you guys have questions too, there's a little question mark over in the corner. You can click that and put your questions in, or you can put them down in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's get into these four tips because you know a lot of a lot of people uh, always say you know, uh, and, and I know I get a, a get quite a few people who uh, you know from aunties and moms and dads and saying, hey, my, my, my daughter or my son wants to, to, to get into this industry and, and uh, you know, can you help them? Can you put them on? And, uh, you know, that's probably a question that I get uh, very often. And so, um, you know, I, I tend to tell them, well, I need to know, you know, first of all, I need to know, uh, are they passionate? Are they really passionate about this? Because trust me, uh, this could be a very humbling business. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I really want to know if, if they're just looking for, you know, quick fame or are they really uh, passionate about it and about the art? Because this is an art as well. So, um, there. Which, which goes into what my, how I started my business. I have my business is called The Art of Serving uh, Quality. Um, my initials are Alexandra Renee Talbert, so A-R-T, Art of Serving. And we'll get right into that. So, I mean, first I was like, what do I want to do? You know, you're looking for that. You know, you want to be in the industry in some type of way. But where the passion comes from is your humble experience. And I was heavy in church. I'm, I'm a believer. So immediately I wanted to go into just serving my pastors, serving leaders, being under people who I felt had a direction and, you know, just having a, a excellence. So I started serving my pastors, Dr. Mike and Dr. Dee Freeman, a spirit of faith Christian center. And they just took me under the wing again and they just taught me so much. Just how to keep myself humble, integrity, understanding how to work ethics, um, what it is to have to pick up trash off the floor if you gotta go clean the bathroom up. Like it's not glamorous all the time. Although they were in that humorous um, position and, and posture, me serving under them, you, you just know. Nobody knows you, nobody needs to know you. It's more like be seen and not heard. So I learned that very quickly. And then my passion came from understanding um, that you want to learn, um, that you can take criticism. Yes, it is church, but they, they will critique you. So I think the best place to start in getting mentorship is definitely in your local church um, and then being connected to God. I'm sorry. I know everyone's not a believer, but I am 100% a believer. You've got to know or have some type of faith um, to, to drive you or motivate you every single day. you got to pray. you got to fast. you got to put your mind in some type of direction. So I meditate. I pray. Um, if, if that's what y'all do, if y'all got anything believe in, meditate, pray, figure out something that just keeps your mind um, on the things and purpose so that you have something or someone to speak it. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's interesting that you said that um, because – uh, when I was asked about a quote, um, I thought about it and, it and it almost came to me immediately, but I thought about why I do this and why I have been doing this for almost 20 years. I guess I'm dating myself. That's seasoning <laughs> right here on the chin. But, um, you know, it's it's passion. And I and I, I was thinking, your, you, you know, your passion is your strength and your, that strength is your motivation. Um, and so, uh, you know, when I first started, I had a mentor. Uh, I went to Morgan State University, go Golden Bears. Okay. Uh, but I went uh, to be uh, uh, to pursue the computer field. Computer information uh, systems uh, was my was my major, and um, uh, my mentor just happened to be a friend of mine who was working over at BET when they were over there in Brentwood in the Black Building, and he was working on Rap City. Uh, when uh, when Chris Thomas was there and uh, he was working on Caribbean uh, rhythms or vibes, I remember that. I remember that. yeah. And so I would go in, I would go, you know, just hanging hanging around with him, and I was like, this is really what I want to do. So my, you know, my first uh, mentor uh, allowed me to sit with him and just observe mm -hmm. and learn. <laughs> Um, and, and, and that was, that was, you know, a, a gem. And then I took it further and I said, okay, now I, I want to, you know, really take classes and really get involved. And, uh, I took classes at, uh, a local public access. 
in Arlington, Virginia. At, at, the, at that time, it was Arlington Independent Media. I think it still is. And Jackie Steven took me under her wing and taught me field production and, and uh, studio production and lighting. And, uh, and the first thing, the first thing we learned was how to roll cables. Ooh. Before you could touch the camera, you had to learn how to roll cables, yeah, and, you know, so that they would not get knotted. And uh, <laughs> and I was like, I did not come here to learn it, how to roll cables. right here, right was, in the 90 degree it, it was like, it was like Karate Kid with the wax on, wax off. Like you could, you don't start with you know getting in there and fighting. No, you got to no. wax on, wax off first, and and, okay, that, okay. and that's and 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 now every time I close the set, I I wrap that cable. It, it, it has been ingrained. Um, we actually have a question, and I don't know. If I, I I don't want to keep going. Let's see if we can answer the question. But mentorship. Is, is the first tip that we have. Yes. Um, Alex, were you able to pull up the question? Well, I'll let you pull no, it up. No, you got to try. I can't see it. Okay, let me see here. Again, for anybody tuning in, uh, this is Malik Pollard. I'm Alexandra Talbert, ASQ Alex. We are bringing you tips to getting in the film and media industry. Um, please give us your questions. If we're not able to open your question, can you please drop it down here in the comments? Um, you know, of course, we're taking over DC now. This is a great page. It's not our stuff. <laughs> right. we, we, are, we have taken over. Yeah. Um, so this, this question is coming from Swang and Shenanigans. And he said, how can someone find local productions to try to get involved in? Which is a very, very good question. And um, um, I mean, I know that's one of our, one of our tips is, is that exactly. Um, but I, I'll touch on it really quick, um, um, Swingin. Um, one, of the, one of the ways is building relationships. You know, one of the ways, and, and that's one of our tips that we want to talk about. I think that's one of our last tips. But relationships, 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 very important. Um, you know, I'll, no, I'll do nobody's going to give this to you. That, that, yeah. I'm going to tell you that right now. Nobody. It don't matter if you send your resume. It don't matter if you have a phone number. Nobody's going to give it to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely about building those relationships. And, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll briefly just uh, tell, tell a very brief story. Um, you know, I'm still... Uh, building those relationships, you know, I'm still building those relationships, and you know, I've attended uh, the DMV Film Summit, and 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 connected with a lot of great people there. Uh, Trusted Smallwood Megamind Media does that every year, and you know, I did that um, when I first, you know, learned about what Tressa was doing. Um, I used Mad Flavor to get into one of her red carpet events. <laughs> Exactly. If you know one of her red carpet events, I did the event, I introduced myself, and then I kept popping up to the point where she just did, um, and she, she's very great. She does a lot of uh, Zooms where she talks about the industry right here in the DMV area. Shout out to Tressa, we love you. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I popped up on her last Zoom, and she, she basically said, Malik, I always see you. <laughs> I need to know what is it that you want to do. <laughs> She's like, you better tag people. Like when I, every time I post something, I tag Tressa. I'm not lying. I know that she knows me. I still tag her the stuff. I'm like, you got to show your consistency. You got to show your dedication. Like nobody cares that you have a passion. Nobody cares that you have a dream. We all have a dream. It's the fact that you're going to keep showing up after you heard somebody say no. Or you say, hey, I'm on your next project. Can you include me? And that person's like, ah, we got enough people. We good. Half of the time, everything is already staffed. Everything is already staffed for up to maybe five to 10 years. Sometimes it's family and friends, so they ain't never gonna lose their job. Sometimes it's a husband, they ain't never gonna lose their job. But the way that you can get in is that you just keep showing up. You just show your dedication, show that you're an underdog. And next thing you know, somebody gonna be like, hey. Right. And there, was that word, there was that word consistency that you use, consistency. And that's one, that's one of the things, even with, even with mad flavor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Consistency is 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 the key, um, you know, because my show, I tell people all the time, it's a stepping stone. It's the first step. Yes. When, when this show was created almost 20 years ago, when, when, when there were very little opportunities for people in D.C., 
this was how we got our foot in the door. And I would tell people, once once the, the door is open, mm -hmm. I'm expecting for you to walk through, run through, and whatever your passion is, whatever your end game is, to pursue that. And I've, I've seen people who've gone from doing my show to being publicists to moving on and doing bigger shows that's on network TV. And so, you know, but you got, you know, the doors will open, but you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. And, and, that's and, you that's gotta, and you got to learn how to stay in that room. Because you can exactly. get in the door. You can get in the door. You can be there. You can be like, dang, that's Jay-Z over there. Oh, my God. That's Kodak Lens over there. You got to be able to stay in the room because people not got to trust you. They got to now meet you. Half the time you be in the room, people won't even speak to you. So right. it's great that you're in there. But some people, you know, I don't know you. you nobody that I know. So right. now you got to prove yourself that you're somebody to reckon with. Have a business card. Have your business card. Instagram is great, but it's not your business card. You got to make your own name, your own brand. Like you said, Matt Flavor, ASQ Alex was birthed. Um, I was on the phone with my girlfriend and I was like, I don't know what I want to go with. ASQ, ASQ. And she was just like, ASQ, art of serving, art of serving. She just kept saying it, kept saying it. So my girl, I got a shout out to my girl, Ebony Blair. Um, she was like the artist serving queens. So it actually started as that first. It was the artist serving queens because at the time I had a lot of people like, come to um, a makeup shoot for me, come to a magazine shoot for me, come to Fox 5, you know, modeling, stuff like that. I cheered, it took me seven times to get on the Redskins. I didn't just get in there right away. I tried out for seven years. Once I finally got in the door, I didn't know that how to do my makeup. I didn't know how to do my hair. I didn't know how to do photo shoots. I then God put me in an area where I could pick up learning things along the way. So just because you may get in one room, just absorb. Try to take in what you need to get because that may not be your last stopping ground. He's trying to take you to your purpose. And you can't quit. No. You can't quit. Like, you got seven notes for seven years. Don't quit. You never know when you're about to do this. Exactly. Exactly. So, so just to recap, tip number one definitely is finding yourself a mentor. Um, and and again, you know, for me, I still have mentors. Uh, I still have have people that that are showing me things. As I, you know, once you reach one plateau. You, you know, once you reach one level, you're just moving on to the next. And, and the next level for me is is, is film. Um, and so, you know, I I mentioned one. Tressa is is a mentor. I'm I'm actually, you know, not to keep plugging one person, but um, I'm actually uh, taking her classes uh, that she's starting up uh, in January. Yes. Um, and so. Summit, right? Then she has the baby in person. Film yep, yep, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a six, six and eight month course where you learn <laughs> where you learn how to perfect your script and your pitch deck and um, uh, writing a treatment and your beat sheet and everything you need so that when you walk into those rooms with BET and some of the networks, you're polished and you're ready. Um, you know. Shout out to uh, Bree and, and Chuck West with Octet Productions, who just wrapped up on the film. And and this is, you know, and, and just being transparent with everybody, Bree is my cousin. And years ago, I went to my cousin, and <laughs> I, but I wasn't ready. And I and and I appreciate, I appreciate that no that I got then because when I stepped back to her and Chuck this time around, they could see that I was ready. Still had some. Some things, some ways to go and learn, but they they saw that I was ready, and and it was a different conversation. And so I appreciate them um, with you know with Octet Productions, but still had the opportunity to just sit on the set of uh, you know Big Fifty uh, when they did the Dale Ron the Hood story that came on BET. I was able to sit there and sit next to Russ Parr and just ask questions and learn. And and so, and what's, what's funny, like, that's your cousin, right? So I had my moment where I was like, oh, my God, the Chuck and Bree, you know, I had to go up there. And you get 30 seconds to pitch yourself. You get 30 seconds to let somebody know who you are because they're like, I'm busy. Like, we're out of here. I don't have time to talk to you. So I go up to Chuck and Bree. Oh, my God, I'm Alex. Hey, Alex, um, I'm a media correspondent. I would really love to work with you. This is how you can now connect and you let them know, like, I want to work with you. Then I let them know I'm working pro bono. Don't let nobody know what your pricing fee is because don't nobody care. 
I right. don't care if you serve. If you have a mentality for serving, a heart of service, people will then take a moment and look at you. So Chuck looked at me, he was like, okay, okay, cool, we got a movie coming out, blah, 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 here's my number. Oh my God. Took that as gold. Like that was, I put that in my back pocket. I text Chuck. Everyone who, who just tuned in, we are talking about four tips to break into the television industry. I'm Malik Pollard with at Mad Flavor TV, joined with uh, Ask Alex or Alexander Tolbert. Ask Alex, um, which is at underscore underscore as <laughs> Alex. We got a paycheck, y'all. It's okay. Uh, we have taken over DC now uh, for the small business takeover. So. The first two tips we kind of been talking about them back and forth is the importance of having a mentor and then also the importance of building relationships and not just building relationships where you are receiving, but something that, that's reciprocal. I, I, you know, the relationships need to be mutual, yes. mutually beneficial so that, you know, it's not just you asking or, or, or taking you're also providing something as well. And those are, the, those are the type of relationships that last. Because I'll tell you, you know, there have been a lot of people who have started off with Matt Flavor TV that have, again, we are the door. So they have excelled and gone on and, and done things, uh, you know, even to a greater height than myself. But what I find interesting is with that relationship, you know, I'm able to call call people and then, you know, and, and people are, are thanking me and I'm, I'm thanking them. Like, yo, you you don't, you don't understand how, yeah, you know, you don't understand how, you know, this has helped me as much as I hope it has, has helped you. So, yeah. so building relationships um, is, is very oh, wait, important. I got, I got one real quick, real quick. Um, don't use your relationship either. Cause like I was saying in the last part, like, you know, Malik, that's your cousin. Like I could have easily just said, why can't you tell your cousin to call me? You don't, I'm not using our friendship in order for me to get more. You got me in one area and I'm grateful for that. And I'm always going to be grateful for that. If you open more for me or you, um, want to offer me to get, you know, maybe touch, talk to Chuck, that's up to your discretion. It's not for me to say, that's your cousin. You need to hook me up. Don't abuse your relationship. So I just want to make sure I put that up. Yeah, and, 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 and trust me, I mean, like, just as you said, you know, there's going to be an opportunity where we're going to see them again, yep. um, you know. <laughs> so, um, now, the, the other tip that we need to talk about is uh, taking classes. Uh, I just mentioned that, you know, in January, I'm, I'm taking classes uh, with uh, Mega Mind Media. Um, you know, I, it's, for me, um, there's always more to learn you know there's always more to learn and and i'm very humble uh, and, and that's one of the things i want to bring up is being humble because you know there are people that that are doing things or know things um or working in technology that i'm still learning um and so you know i started off with you know with uh editing with adobe software now i'm using davinci and i'm color correcting and color grading and and you know taking classes on that because I, I tell people all the time you know on, on a set you know I don't care if I'm rolling cables <laughs> like I said earlier um which is an art yep. or you know or setting lights or or if I'm director of photography you know it, it, I'm I'm to the point where I don't have an ego where I'm like well, I was directing photography on this project, so why would I be just, you know what I'm saying, rolling cables on the next? Well, again, it's when I'm in there, I'm building those relationships, which we talked about, and I'm learning. 
Uh, Currently, and right now, I'm enrolled at Bowie State University. I enrolled myself back into school. I went to North Carolina A&T from 2006 to 2009, HBC. But now I'm back in school. I'm 34 years old, and I enrolled at Bowie State University in broadcast journalism. Um, I am now their entertainment media correspondent. Like, even though it's not a major network, Bowie State still has a syndicated network that can have their uh, shows on. So when I got into my classes, I, I uh, met my professor, um, Dr. Thomas, and he took me under his wing again. He's known a lot of people in the industry at Bowie State University. Um, I take writing classes, expository writing classes, communication classes. Um, there's more media classes to take, so if you don't know where to go to school, Bowie State provides a film and media and broadcast journalism courses. Um, financial aid is available. Uh, they actually want returning students, so they're offering um, enrollment and offers to get to Bowie State right now for people who have been out of school for 10 years or more. So take advantage of your universities that are around in this area. And I would say I have a 3.0 right now. The doors that have opened up for me, I, I'm not too big to know that I'm back in school, that I have to work for my grades again. And I have a 3.0. I want higher, but I'm working. And these professors aren't easy on me. They, they make me work. So, um, yes, enroll in classes, enroll in school again. Don't ever tell yourself, I got it enough, I'm talented enough. Right. And, and, and like I said, if, if, you know, when I first started, I took classes at public access, you know, and, and, and you know, that's a viable place to start. Uh, whether you're in Maryland, Pre uh, Prince George's County, you have CTV. If you're in uh, D.C., you have DC TV. You also have EntertainDC.org with Angie Gates, where, you know, D.C. residents can go to a studio and, and work and work, uh, you know, on shows. Uh, and, you know, D.C. is giving grants. Uh, and all types of resources out there. So, you know, definitely take, you know, you want to take courses, you want to get better. Look, I, I, I'll i even Google something. People, I, I, let me tell you something. I always, I joke and I say, I say the white boys got a, got a YouTube for everything. If I'm struggling on something in a, in a software, I, I go to Google, I will, uh, I will go to YouTube, I will I will look at stuff, you know, if I buy, you know, if I buy a new camera uh, or, or whatever it is, and I just want to get some tips or some tricks or some whatever, I will go to YouTube. If you, yeah, if you can't afford classes, I get that too financially. You may not be able to go back to school, but Google is a help. Like I use Google when I started creating my content reels, started to create my YouTube page. Start creating your own stuff now. Don't wait for someone to discover you. Don't wait for the followers to happen. If you only get two likes, that's just what it is. But if you don't start putting yourself in front of social media, start putting your own your your own stuff out there for people to start knowing you. Find out your brand name and start critiquing it over time. Find people like myself, Malik, ask us, like, how can I make this better? I'm here to help. So if you don't have nothing on your page, you said you want to do something, but your page shows you, you and your dog. No, your your canvas is Instagram. I know social media is like, you know, too much nowadays. Everybody's on social media, but honestly, that's your networking plug. Right okay, now. yeah, definitely. So again, folks, myself, Malik Pollard, and Alexandra Toga, Ask Alex, has taken over DC now with the Small <laughs> Business Takeover. We're giving you four tips to break into the TV industry. And so before we go into our fourth tip, um, we do have a question that came from Great uh, Nessium. I hope I'm saying that right. And it was, what advice can you give to someone who doesn't know where to start? Well, I, I, you know what? I, 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 think, I think our tips, we've given some uh, places of where to start, but I, I would definitely say, um, first of all, you know, just identifying what your passion is and what, what you want to do. Is it in front of the camera? Is it behind the camera? And then start to really network and, and look for people that are, are in that, as Alex said, Instagram is a, is a great place to do it. Um, going to events, uh, you know, going to socials and meetups um, is yeah, also great. Follow DC Now events and pop yeah. events are free. Most of them are. We just did uh, a social, you just had a social two weeks ago, right? At Republic Garden. Yeah. Go to these events and dress nice. Know how to dress. If you got to dress at fashion, no, but I, everything doesn't have to be 
uh, Gucci down to the socks. Like, figure out a way to make yourself already look like you're somebody. Learn how to do your makeup. Um, take makeup class. What, like I said, anything that you put up has to be quality, 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 quality. Don't put nothing up there that's bootleg, sketchy, you got stuff in the background. I mean, of course, DM me, uh, DM me to ask, like, how to clean up your content. But um, the art of serving quality, that is my brand. That's my business. Those are my services. How to serve quality stuff, quality services, quality business. Yeah. And, and as we said, if, you, if, if it's something that you want to do behind the scenes, um, you know, there are resources out there. We just talked about entertaindc.org. Uh, and Angie Gates is, is the um, uh, executive o over there in D.C., and they're right there in northeast, uh, northeast Washington, D.C. Uh, and you can look them up uh, on, on the web as well. Uh, public access um, is still a viable place for people to go and, and volunteer, and you can be a cameraman. You can, you can run the studio. You can do a lot of things. It is volunteer, but that's how I started. I, vol I started actually volunteering and working on other people's shows, um, you know, whether it was in studio or in the field, and then got to a point where I was comfortable with buying my first camera, which was a Sony VX2100, um, old camera. Um, and so went on you from investing, investing so yeah. you got it now put money to the side you got to know there's something that you want that's a camera or you know you know that you need your lighting when you're doing certain things investing yourself um the, the one number one thing i did was roll the dice on myself and i started wanting to make a name for myself so i made my youtube page i made sure my instagram was matching what i wanted and then i started working asking people you just gotta ask like you know can i internship for you can i work for a for you um, if you're in your local church, I currently now go to All Nations DC. Shout out. Um, I'm with the Spirit of Faith now with All Nations DC, Pastor Trina, uh, Pastor JJ Harrison. Shout out to them. They are great people who have media all day. They're always looking for people to serve. Go down to your local church. Figure out how you can become a part of something there first. Build your resume and then just work from there. It's all about that network. It takes time and it may take a few years, but you got to start somewhere and just start. But but in that 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 service is serving serving that's what serving is yeah. volunteering is serving. <laughs> uh, so we have a couple of questions and I know we are running up on eight o'clock. Man, we could talk about this for like a. a we got eight ten. They told us we could go to eight ten, so we got like ten. Minutes. Okay, all right, all right. So I'm gonna make it really quick. So uh, the Black Math Academy has can math and TV work, commercials or programming. Um, so. So I want to make sure I understand the question. So if, if I'm not, please uh, uh, hit that question mark button again. But as far as uh, math and television can work, absolutely. I mean, now, you know, we, we are dealing with AWS um, and analytics. Uh, even everything has analytics, you know, even now in the, uh, uh, playing football now has analytics. And so... What you'll find is with a lot of the streaming platforms, they are they are relying on analytics to figure out who's watching, where they're watching, when they're watching, how they're watching, and there are thousands of streaming platforms. And, I, and, and since I, I'm talking about streaming platforms and we talk about creating content uh, here uh, really quick in this last couple of minutes, um, um, you know, there are, there are hundreds, if not thousands of streaming platforms. And, and, People tend to know the big five, I would say, Amazon Prime or, or uh, your Netflix, your Hulu, um, uh, and some of the, the you know, the, the plus channels like BT Plus or Disney Plus. But there are a lot of independent uh, streaming platforms. Math Flavor TV runs on three independent streaming platforms that are Black-owned. Um, Indie Central TV. Um, the Rewind Network, and also the Win Network. These are Black-owned independent streaming platforms that are on your Roku, Fire Stick, Apple, Google, all of the ones that all the other majors are on. And so it's not difficult to start a streaming platform. Uh, you definitely will need a developer. 
um, to, to, to help you. Or if you're good with XML and coding yourself, uh, you can create a streaming platform. The biggest thing is just where you're going to house your content. And, and you know, if you're going to do it on a cloud service uh, or if you're going to do it on a service like a Vimeo or something like that. But all of these platforms use analytics um, to figure out who's watching and where they're watching and how they're watching. So that's that's how they're able to tell you, you know, how many streaming hours you're getting. Um, and, you're, and you will find that, uh, you know, streaming platforms are, are – typically um, in three categories. You have your SVOD, which is your subscription base, which is like a BT Plus or HBO Max. You pay monthly to subscribe. You have your AVOD, which is advertised base, like a Tubi, where you watch for free, but they're gonna put ads in. Like a Hulu is kind of weird because they kind of charge, but then they have an ad rate and then they have a non-ad rate, but they're still uh, technically uh, AVOD. Uh, YouTube is AVOD. So these are advertised based. Uh, and then lastly, you have your TVOD, which is your transactional base, which is what Amazon Prime is. Transactional in that if you are a Prime member, you get some movies for free. Some movies you have to pay for, even 99 cents or 2.99 or whatever the cost is, because it's transactional based at that point. You're paying to actually view the movie um, you know, for a month or whatever amount of time they give you. And so uh, I would suggest you know, that answers the math and and programming uh, question that you had, uh, uh, Black Math Academy. But um, those are definitely, you know, analytics uh, is definitely math. And, and I mentioned AWS, which is Amazon, because a lot of companies use AWS analytics, uh, like the NFL uses it. Go ahead. I, I would suggest to maybe look into if you're into that. I'm not sure what you want to do, but um, actually applying to for a job at Hulu, at Google, at Amazon. It may not be a, the big job that you want, but putting something on your resume where it says, I have worked for Hulu, I have worked for Google, I have worked for Facebook. You want to try to get a job in one of the areas, um, even if it's um, an entry level job. So I would suggest doing that. If, if you're asking that question, now we try to go get a job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the good thing is you can be, you can get AWS certified. I mean, it's different. It's almost like when, you, you know, when, when Microsoft, you had your, your CNE or your, you know, your different certifications, you can get uh, AWS certified. You can also get certified in Google Analytics. So if that is something that you are looking to do, trust me, and that goes beyond just television. I mean, they're using that for everything. Think about when you go on Facebook and these ads pop up and, and you clicked on one little thing, you looked at some shoes, and now you've got a thousand shoe ads that popped up. Coming up. Because they are tracking, they are tracking what you what you watch, uh, what you what you click on, and that's all through analytics. That's all through AWS or Google Analytics. And of course, you know Amazon and Google are competitors. So um uh one other we question that we want to get into because we have just a couple minutes. Um and this leads us to our last topic. Uh, great Nessium said, when it comes to creating quality, what are the basic pr principles to focus on? Oof. Number one is audio for me. Audio and lighting. Yeah, Here yeah. Audio you know, and lighting. You know, and, and I... And your equipment is next. <laughs> like, and that's what you're using. The iPhone. You know, I was gonna say, one, one time I, I would have said cameras, but, you know, with technology and with iPhones and even your Androids, being able to shoot 8K, I've seen people shoot movies uh, with their phone. But one thing you cannot you cannot replace is the lighting and the audio. Um, you want to make sure that you you have a good base with your lighting and audio because to try to fix that in post. If it's bad, it's going to cost you unless you're just very savvy in those areas. I'll tell you right now, I am not an audio technician. I understand it, but, you know, I need it clean coming in because if there's a lot of wind noise or something like that, I, you know, I, I know for me, I can't go in a Adobe Audition and fix it. I'm going to have to farm that out to somebody else who that's their specialty and that's what they do. So, Clean audio is definitely important. 
Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive, you know, get you a nice boom mic or something like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that you can, you can get that, that is, uh, <laughs> look, all my equipment is sitting over here. I got tons of, you This know. one actually goes to the phone. You can get this. If you guys see me, I can tell you where to get it from. But it comes with a microphone. It comes with a second microphone. It's a very um, affordable uh, little microphone that I can that I keep around because now here you coming back to back and sometimes cameramen don't show up. So you gotta have folks. <laughs> and, I will, and I will say I'm a stickler for when I when I when I when I have a camera person, if I'm not there in person or or if if I farm out or hire a camera person, the first thing I ask them is, do you have audio? Because audio on the camera is not the best. One one of the things you gotta understand is that the audio is picking up on what's the loudest. So if this is louder, it kind of tunes in over here. And so unless you have like an omnidirectional uh, mic or, or a cardioid mic that, that only picks up audio in the direction that it's pointing, you can get audio from other sources, especially if you're doing a red carpet. I mean, there's hundreds of media on the red carpet, well, at least it used to be before COVID, but it's still enough media on the red carpet that if everybody's talking at once, your audio may not pick up you, so you want to definitely have a a handheld mic or, or a boom mic or something that is catching the audio. The phone or goes to the camera. It needs to have whatever that is. Make sure you have that. And your uh, US, what is it, a USB um, recorder, right? Always have two of those. Oh, yeah, USB, yeah, yeah, USB. Always have carry so. two of those with you. Um, yeah, and, and I, I use... Sometimes I use this, okay. right? Very simple, but I can still plug a mic into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so um, I, I have used this. When I've done events, I have plugged this into the, the DJs or the or the, the soundboard. You know, now, of course, you got to have all the hookups. Yes. Because you never know what the DJ, what kind of outline he's going to give you. But, you know, it could be XLR, it could be mini, it could be quarter inch, whatever it is. But I have used this. And this was like 30 bucks. Yep. Amazon <laughs> is a godsend. Everything is on <laughs> so, Google, yeah. Google the names of what you're looking for. Google the best uh, 10 audio, best 10 chords. I'm trying to find, because uh, we can't give it all to you guys right now because we're all the time. Um, real quick, um, we're gonna go ahead. we got close out, guys. I'm ASQ Alex. Ask Alex. You can catch me on Fridays at 4 p.m. with my new show with Mike Reed. This is this is the magazine. It's called Press the T. So, guys, come get your hot topics for the week. We uh, we give it to y'all straight out. Straight so, the next is cool, but Press the T is going to be that visual feedback you're looking for. What's coming up with you? What's going on? Oh, um, you know what, man? Flavor TV. Um, you know, 2022, there's, there's, we, we, we starting up again. Uh, so, you know, you can catch us on, like I said, we, we are streaming on three platforms, Indie Central TV, that's I-N-D-I-E Central TV, um, which you can fire up on your Roku, Fire Stick, all of that. Uh, the Rewind Network, spelled uh, R-E-E-W-I-N-D Network, which also you can find on your Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV. And if you're in the Washington, D.C. area, uh, it comes on cable as well. So uh, just kind of uh, dial it up on your on your cable station. Um, I wish I could give you all the channels. I'm so sorry. We are in like we're in we're in like 20 cities and I don't know all the channels off the top of my head. But there's always MadFlavorTV.com where you yep. find the information. And you last can follow, and follow our pages too. I work with Mad so I normally post when I have my events with uh, Malik and Malik. So I have stuff on his page. So make sure you follow underscore underscore ASQ Alex. And Malik's page is Mad Flavor TV. Um, well, thank you guys again. This was so much fun. If y'all have any questions, um, this we want fun. to help. We definitely want to help. Yeah, and if you ever if you ever want to host, like I said, Mad Flavor TV, um, you know, our door is always open. I will say this. I will I'm say still here right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. That's right. We still got people in rotation. But I, I will. I will say that um, if you if you do reach out, please at least 
have watched the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I think that's one of the things that, uh, and I'll leave, I'll leave with this quick nugget, is that, uh, um, is that someone told me, know what you're applying for. You know what I mean? If you're applying, if you want to work with a production house like an Octet Productions that we mentioned, Chuck and Bree, or Megamind, Tressa Smallwood, or Man Robinson, or whoever it is, um, know, at least know something about them, know what they have produced. Show them that you are interested and you're invested in them because you're asking them for an opportunity. So if you don't know anything about them, why would they hire you? Why would they want to be a So you have to ask yourself that. Mad Flavor is an open book, but if you never watched Mad Flavor TV, I mean, you probably yeah, that's, say, that's not a point. You know, you gotta... find Lonnie Love cause she, or her because they're, or, you know, or Cedric the Entertainer because they're back there. <laughs> but if you never, if you, if you never watch, please watch. <laughs> At least so you can be familiar with what we do because I'm going to be asking you to do the same. And so, you know, <laughs> that, that's, that's it. So, well, we love you guys. Love you. Um, watch our pages, see our content, see how we build our stuff, our, our content on our pages. We put a lot of time, a lot of work in here. Again, again, this wasn't overnight. This was like seven years in the running, ten years for me. So, congrats to you, Malik. This was a great Merry time. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Happy holidays. Christmas. And we hope to be working with you in some capacity in 2022 or hope to see some of the great things that you guys are producing and, and coming up with. We'll see you soon, guys. <laughs> Malik, don't forget to save it when you close out. <laughs> I know. I got to save. I got to save. So. All right. How about you? Do I hit the X button to save? Hit or the X. And when you hit, hit the X, X it's going to say, right. gonna say in the live. And then when you end the live, it's going to say, do you want to save? Got it. They're going to have to trim all this off at the end. <laughs> Bye. Bye.